The version one Motobot was an effective test bed for developing the Motobot features and capabilities. Uh, it was able to balance, navigate, and achieve speeds over 150 kilometers per hour. It was designed for functionality and it achieved that purpose, but in order to go faster, it needed to be re-envisioned as a fully optimized system. First, we revisited the structure of Motobot. Instead of using heavy aluminum skeleton as was used in version one, we designed a structural carbon fiber shell, which resulted in a significantly lighter and stiffer system. Uh, and it also had the additional benefit of freeing up space inside of Motobot, which allowed us to refine the internal layout. Inside of Motobot, we moved each of the motor controllers closer to their specific actuators, which reduced noise. The battery capacity was expanded, and the batteries were moved down lower into the legs of Motobot. Uh, this lowered the center of gravity. Cables were carefully routed to separate power and signal lines. Uh, and the actuators for the throttle, the clutch, and the front brake were completely redesigned to be faster and more precise. Additionally, the control system was given an extensive overhaul allowing for more precise path following and more stability on the track. All of these improvements allowed us to pursue and achieve significantly improved lap times. Each element of the system was designed to meet or exceed Valentino Rossi's performance. Uh, starting with the carbon fiber shell, uh, it's a structure that's lightweight. It results in a total system weight of only 45 kilograms. This low rider weight allows for a lower center of gravity. It allows for faster acceleration and more aggressive braking. The steering system incorporates a high power motor and a cycloidal drive. The cycloidal drive, it's compact, it's efficient, and it enables Motobot to output over 200 newton meters of torque to the steering column. The rear brake is controlled by a twisted string actuator. Uh, twisted string actuators provide efficient gear reduction without the extra width and bulk that's needed for a traditional gearbox. So this allows us to have a precise, high-force brake actuator that's embedded within the narrow leg profile of the Motobot. The front brake actuator uses a tapering spiral pulley on the output of the motor. This creates an actuator with a continuously increasing gear ratio. Using this mechanism, motor position and brake pressure on the motorcycle have a linear relationship this linear relationship allows for a precise control of the brake pressure. Uh, the development of all of this high-performance hardware gives Motobot the necessary capability to be able to beat Valentino Rossi.